Hello and welcome to iBlue Air JGR Gaming for Comedy. This is Blade and Soul's item evolution system. Unlike in most MMORPGs, in Blade and Soul players have the ability to upgrade some of their items as they level up and develop their characters. Instead of constantly buying new swords and jewels, you can grow and improve your low level items and keep them with you throughout your journey to max level. Now, I bet you're wondering how exactly that's supposed to work. Well, it's actually pretty simple. From very early on in the game, one of the many quests that you complete will award you with a special item called a Hung Moon Weapon. In order to make that weapon more powerful, you have to feed it gems and other weapons. The higher the quality of the items you feed to that weapon, the more powerful your weapon will become. Eventually, however, your weapon's power will reach its cap. Once it hits that cap, it will require a special weapon and a special material to break it through to the next stage of progression. The game's interface will tell you what items you need, but since you're here, let's take a look together. Your initial Hung Moon weapon upgrade requires one Stalker's weapon specific to your class and one Viridian Poison. The weapon is obtained from an enemy called Stalker Jengshi, while the poison is obtained through a repeatable quest called Dr. Jengshi and Mr. Hyde, and many other quests and dungeons, and they, they drop all over the place. So essentially what's going to happen is you're going to kill Stalker Jengshi a bunch of times, and you're going to get a bunch of Stalker's weapons, and you're going to feed all of those to your Hung Moon weapon until it reaches the point where it needs to be broken through to the next level and then you feed it the specific stalker weapon to your class the viridian poison and then boom goes the dynamite it gets stronger and you're good to go i lied the stalker weapon that you have to feed to your hung moon weapon to break it through to the next level has to be unsealed and in order to unseal it you need an item called an Unsealing Charm, and you obtain those from level 15 plus quest, specifically from the Jade Stone Village, that's when you'll start seeing them. You can also purchase them from general goods merchants or from the auction house for approximately 10 silver, but that's a lot of money if you're just starting out in the game. So exercise a little bit of patience, wait until you get to the Jade Stone Village and get them for free from a quest. And that's it. Put all the stuff in the interface, break the weapon through to the next level, and then start feeding it stuff again, because that thing is hungry. It needs to eat. And it wants to eat weapons. And it wants you to feed it to it, so it can help you kill things. It's a symbiotic relationship, right? It's not like a, a one-sided thing, right? The weapon doesn't work without you, and you don't work without the weapon. You see what I'm talking about. 